And we are headed outdoors bound this morning, this hour. Well, have you ever heard of blotchy bass? No. Okay. I don't know what that is. Now, apparently, though, according to George Noloff, it's a syndrome that's affecting most of the more in the I can't get it together today. <laughs> the symptom is affecting most of the important sports fish in the United States. Yeah, now the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources is joining the effort to track the disease. George, tell us all about this. Hopefully I'll be able to get the words out because I've had days like that, <laughs> trust me folks. Charmaine Evan, if you ever see a fish with blotchy bass syndrome, you won't forget it. And we're talking about huge spots that look like someone just threw black ink on the fish. It's, it's pretty wild. Hey, how y'all doing there, folks? Because bass fishing has, by some estimates, a 115 billion, that's billion with a B, dollar economic impact on the U.S. every year, Anytime a fish with that kind of economic importance develops a problem, well, it's, it's going to get some attention, folks. The problem in this instance is bass afflicted with blotchy bass syndrome. They develop ink blot type lesions all over their bodies. Now, scientists have figured out it's caused by a virus. So far, no indication the blotches or virus have a serious health impact on the bass affected. But viruses, as we all know from the pandemic, can mutate. So the idea is to track the syndrome to find out how it spreads and to get ahead of any changes that might indicate a more serious issue. The VDWR wants you to help. The agency is asking you to report any blotchy bass you catch. You'll need to sign up for the Angler's Atlas My Catch app to do that. Now, federal agencies also involved as are private corporations like Angler's Atlas and Cabela's Bass Pro. All right, so George, is there any threat to humans? So far, no. The experts say the blotchy bass virus only affects fish and primarily black bass species like largemouth, smallmouth, and spotted bass. There have been no reports of the disease being spread to people. And, and now this might get me into trouble with a lot of bass anglers who frown upon eating bass. Scientists say folks who want to keep and eat them are safe as long as the fish is properly cleaned and cooked. All right, well, that's some good news for all the fish eaters out there, George. I like the cooked part. Yeah. <laughs> George is going to cook it. That way we know for sure it's cooked properly. All right, all right George Nola from the Outdoors Bound team, thanks so much. And something else you don't want to forget or miss out on, please sign up to get your Outdoors Bound updates directly to your inbox. It's simple. Subscribe there using that QR code you see there on your screen.